it's exactly the way that uh, I masked it, masked my, I haven't added any new code. So today what we're going to try to do, or what I'm going to try to do, is make this, uh, this plugin or, or native script um, resemble as close as possible to or a normal plugin. And if you haven't seen at least part one of this series, I would suggest you do because uh, I'm not going to review what I've done in the other videos. So the first thing I want to do is change the event, the event name. So you see uh, I have the Apple Deal documentation up and uh, the event name for most of these ad providers is ad request. So I'm going to do the same thing for our, for our Amazon. And then right here, it says plugin, Amazon event, and I'm going to change it to ads request. The second thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add these properties to the event except the provider. So I'm going to do data, his error, name, name I don't need to add it, the phase, and the response, and the type. And I'm not sure that, that we'll fill them all in today, but um, that's what I plan on doing. So i got to find a method that comes with this template. Uh, and here it is, dispatch event. And all I'm going to do is add those values. And the first one, I don't need a message anymore, so I'm going to switch this to data. Um, I don't remember if it is a data or not, but if it is a string type. But for now, I'm just going to name it data. Maybe we won't use it on the first pass of this. Uh, I'm going to add the property is error, which is usually a Boolean. And um, uh, the event name already comes in here through this uh, new event, event name. So I'm not going to provide that one. I am going to provide a string um, phase. Again, the event provider is going to be static, so I don't need to provide that. Uh, string response and string type. I think those are all the ones I need. Um, so if you see inside this method, it's complaining that uh, there's a message here, and it's complaining up here about. Uh, the documentation, and I'm just going to delete the documentation. I'm not going into creating documentation. Um, so I can't find the message. So I'm going to make this first one. I'm just going to make it data since it's also a string, and it's going to be data. Now I need one for Boolean, and um, Boolean is a it's not a string. So I do L dot and push, and you should see. You see, it says push Boolean, so that's what we want to push. And then I'm just going to pass it as error. And then i got to give it a tag, so when it comes to the other side. And I'm going to set, uh, set field. My I is always going to be negative 2. And the S is going to be... Actually, I don't need to do, these are, they show up. I always completely forget when I'm looking at another example. And I always do this too, I forget to add final to them. Okay, so I got the Boolean down. We're going to add a couple more here. I'm not going to, all the other ones are going to be strings, so I'm not going to talk through them again. I'm just going to go and do them.
and I might cut this out depending how how long this takes. You see, I did it again. I put the S in there, even though it uh, was something you actually put in there. And okay, I have them all. The only one I don't have is provider. And um, provider, I'm just going to add it myself, and it's not going to be a value that I push in. I mean, a, a A value that comes in through the function or method. And I'm going to call it Amazon. And that is it. That should work. Okay. Now, if you go to the top, remember here, we're just passing just a string. So this is not going to work anymore. Um, so we're going to have to change this call. Now I'm going to expand them. And I'm not sure I'm going to do all of them for this video. Uh, I might just do a couple. And then uh, you'll get to see it in the next one. I'm going to do app mode it because that's the one we saw before. So I'm going to do dispatch event, event, and uh, it says the data, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave the data blank, just an empty string, uh, is error false? Phase uh, loaded. String response, I'm just going to leave it blank. And type, I'm going to say banner. Okay. Uh, on fail to node, we do have the error here. So technically, I'm just going to put it in here. I'm just going to copy and paste it in. The error is true. The data, I'm going to say. I don't remember what they usually do, but I'll check that and make it a modification offline. Get message. Do I have to do it to string? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see uh, what this returns. And then uh, phase loaded and the type is banner. Okay, so um, that should be all on that side. And uh, then we come back here and this is gonna, this event is now going to be a table, hopefully. So instead of just the print, we're going to get a full table, and I want to see what that table looks like. So I'm going to do print JSON prettify event. 
face punch. And that should pretty much do it. And I have my tablet plugged in. Make sure it's on. I think it is. I'm going to go back to Android Studio. I'm going to get playing. Hopefully I don't have too many errors. Since I didn't practice this ahead of time. And it is on. I'm going to click OK. And of course it's going to take a little bit to, to build. And so it finished running. And unfortunately we didn't have as good a luck with... Uh, I guess because I didn't put the pluses in front of it. Um, but you can sort of see the events here. Um, I wonder if I do a response. Oh, I see them. Yep. And so you see here it's loaded twice. And uh, now we're getting data back. Had request loaded, Amazon banner. Had request loaded, Amazon banner. Um, so it's working as expected, and I could actually, again, if I could find the, the screen button, which I can't, the ads are loading on on the on my Kindle Fire. Again, this is all I have for today. Hopefully, it's useful for somebody. And uh, in the next episode, I'll continue the cleanup. Uh, what I'll probably do offline is make these events match more closely with uh, with the other ad providers. I don't remember what they put in data and things like that. Uh, but the key takeaway here is that with the provided method to send the event, um, you can expand it to send whatever data you want. And depending on the type, uh, here where it says push string, you have to change this to match the type that you're trying to push. So um, this push, I usually do push, and then you could see, you could push a number, you could push a value, you could push nil, uh, a boolean, which I showed you, an integer, or a string. I think that's all we have available. Again, thank you for watching, and hopefully you can watch the next one.